Bob Maloney from My MMA News. And today I am talking to my man, Kyle Dawkins, Northeast Philly Zone, Martinez BJJ. He finally got his UFC contract. He's going to be making his debut live on ESPN this week. Kyle, first, let me say congratulations. It's a long time coming. I think it should have been a while ago, but good things come to those who wait. How's it feel, man? It's got to be an exciting time in your life right now. Yeah, man. It's It's been a busy couple of days. Um, you know, once I got the call, my phone started blowing up, social media and all that stuff. But, uh, you know, I have a task at hand on uh, the 27th, and that's my main focus right now. Listen, Kyle, your amateur career, let's, let's go through it. I mean, you were 5-5. Five and five. I remember, and I was cage side for much of your amateur career, and I remember yeah. specifically, you know, talking to you in the cage afterwards, and you said, asked you what's next, and you said, I'm going back to Martinez. I'm going to get in the room and I'm going to get better. I'm going to make, I'm going to, I'm going to make the UFC. This has been, you know, one of your goals and one of your dreams. And I know it's just not about getting there. It's about getting there and being successful. Well, how, what was some of the things from your amateur? Cause when you got to become a pro, I mean, like I said, five and five amateur, then you went to pro and you just exploded nine and oh, you went from heavyweight to light heavyweight to middleweight. Yeah. Tell me some of the, the, just one or two of the main things that has been most important in, 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 in your career right now that, that took you from learning, from losing as an amateur to being like this undefeated pro going to the UFC. Um, I really believe that it was, it's the mental game. You know, when I first started out as a heavyweight, I was, I was fat and out of shape. And I just thought I was in it just to be one of the guys that, that could, could uh, be an MMA fighter, you know? And then once I sat down and, and really thought about it, you know, I really needed to focus on my mental strength and get my weight down to a good uh, weight class that I was successful at, which was 85. But transferring over from amateur to professional is, is the whole mental game. You know, when, um, when you're training, it's 90% physical and 10% mental. And then as soon as you step into that cage, it's 90% mental and 10% physical. You know, you can train your ass off all camp, but if you don't, um, if you don't mentally prepare uh, to to compete in the cage that night, you're you're not going to be successful. And and I really have put a lot of focus on you know just envisioning myself inside the cage, envisioning you know my feet like what it feels like my feet against against the mat, my back against the cage, clinching up with the guy, and and that's what really led to my success. I, I believe. Listen, I know that you always give credit to your team over at Martinez. You have such a great room over there. It's like a family. But having a brother who's also a high-level fighter, has that? do you think that's helped you even more? Because when you're not at the gym, when you're not in the room, and you're having family time, you're still with another guy who probably, you guys probably talk fighting all the time. Has that helped you a lot, having a highly talented and competitive brother in the sport? Yeah, of course. You know, the the more talent that you have around you, the more successful you're going to be. You know, we have a, a group of guys at, at the gym that are very successful. And it, it just shows based off of my career, based off of my, my brother's career and everybody else's career that's that's fighting. You know, these guys are are putting in the hard work that that they see us put in and they see the success that we get. And they don't realize that, you know, a lot of my success is, is due to them. But yeah, uh, living at home with my brother and stuff, like living uh, with my brother and stuff, we always beat each other up a little bit. We've always, you know, gone back and forth and uh, tried new things. You know, it's always good to have a body around to try new things, to, to experiment with stuff. Um, but yeah, it, it, it's been great with you. All right. Listen, now, with, we have all this COVID and this pandemic going on right now. The UFC is really the only mainstream sport that's going on. Has that been, I know you have been waiting for a short, you told me last time I interviewed you, you told me that, you know, you were always going to stay ready because you thought, you know, a short notice call could come. How has it been different for you? Because normally you're in a routine, but not being able to, you know, do your normal gym five, six days a week. How has it been different for you? And have you been able to, do you feel as prepared since this is short notice and you haven't had, you know, the same six, seven days a week training, you know? Yeah, you know, I've. I, I, I can honestly say that I have not taken a day off since this whole thing started. You know, my schedule has been the same, um, whether it be, you know, in the basement hitting pads or at the gym hitting pads or at the gym doing MMA or in my basement or going over to a friend's house and, and rolling and getting the extra rounds in that I need. Uh, my schedule has not changed. Um, 
I'm pro- I, I really I really wholeheartedly believe that I am in the best shape of my life right now in this pandemic time, which is pretty crazy. You know, my numbers, my numbers, the strength and conditioning have gone up. My numbers, you know, on the bike have gone up. I feel my conditioning is great. Um, going into the fight, I really don't feel like I have any pressure on me, which is a great thing. You know, it's a short notice fight. I'm expected to lose. But you know what? Come fight day, I'm going to surprise everybody and put everybody in that weight class on notice. Now, after the first, you know, when, after you first guys, everybody saw it on social media after, you know, you found out you got the contract. How long did it take you after that to say, you know what? OK, I got what I wanted. Now it's time to. Th- did you immediately get to the gym? Do you immediately start watching film on your on on Alan, who you're fighting? How you know, how long did it take you to, like, get out of that happy mode and get into I got I got a job to do. I got to get to work. Honestly, it took maybe 35 seconds if that you know my brother was like was way more excited than i was you know i was excited and i was happy but you know in the back of my mind as soon as um they told me brendan was the opponent i was like all right like i was already game planning like in my mind yeah physically i was you know i was excited and everything like that but it it only lasted for maybe 30 to 35 seconds and you know i I had game game face on and it's no different than any other fight that i've had did you go back? I know that you're you're a huge student of the game. Have you gone back and, and watched the film on him? And how do you see this matchup? Yeah, I've seen uh, uh, from his contender series to his most recent win. I watched um, all those fights live, actually. And I've always thought to myself, you know, eventually when I get into the UFC, you know, our paths are going to cross. And it's just what happens at a short notice fight. But, yeah, you know, I've been studying him. I've been watching a lot of film on him. And uh, I think we have the perfect game plan to come out of this fight success now are you able who's who's making the trip with you is coach will and your brother who, who are you taking with you i know yeah sometime my brother up, is yeah. my brother's flying out with me tomorrow morning and then will is flying out on thursday great great man so listen thanks for giving me some time give some shout outs i know that you know you've had so much support Give some love out to the people that you want to you know give some love to before you travel out to vegas to do your thing yeah, you know, everybody at the gym that's that's been helping me, you know, it, it's the, this this journey has been it's been wild and crazy. And, uh, you know, this is just another step into the career that I've always wanted and always envisioned myself being successful. In. And I'm very thankful for everybody's help. I'm very thankful for all of my sponsors that have always helped me throughout the throughout my career. You know, Problem Nutrition, Andrew Electric, um, Angelo Matarazzo, Lucky Clouds, just Everybody, you know, I have a shirt on right now. East Philly Designs, they actually just just stopped by and hit me up with a bunch of gear, which is great. I'm very thankful for them as well. Um, I'm very thankful for, you know, my family, my mom, my girlfriend who have, they have really understood that I had a have a true belief in myself to become the champion and to get into the UFC. And they have been 110% behind me. Even when I have bad days, they're always pushing me to the next level. And I'm very thankful for everybody. And I can't wait to start this journey in the UFC. And I really can't wait to skills on June 27th and come out with a victory. Well, Kyle, thanks again for giving me some time. Safe travels out there. Stay safe. Can't wait to see you. ESPN Saturday night. Kyle Dawkins on the main card. Against, he's going to do his thing. He's going to do Northeast Philly and Martinez BJJ proud. I know I have to stay neutral, but man, I've been there with you since you've been an amateur, and uh, it's going to be hard for me to stay neutral while I'm cheering. And I'm not going to be media for this fight. I'm going to be, you know, <laughs> team, team Kyle Dawkins. Like I said, best of luck to you, man, and thanks again for giving me some time, man. You have earned it. You've worked hard, and a lot of fighters should really look at you as an example of, especially when you're an amateur, you can go five and five. And if you keep working, you can improve and you can, you can reach your dreams and your goals, Kyle. Congratulations. I know it's just the beginning for you. Thanks, Bob. Really appreciate it. And I really appreciate you and my, my MMA news for always backing me up ever since I've been an amateur. You know, you guys have written articles on me. You guys have always come to the gym and supported me 110% as well. And I'm very thankful for you guys as well. Well, I will talk to you after your 1-0, and and we'll talk about 2-0. and We'll go to the next chapter. Thanks again, my man. Appreciate it. Thanks, Bob. I appreciate everything, man.